I found the top 10 non-tech related remote jobs. And that's what I'm gonna be going over in this video because a lot of people think that all the remote jobs out there have to be technology related. And yes, there are a lot of great remote jobs that are tech related, but there's many out there that are outside of that realm. So gently tap that like button and let's jump into it right now with number 10, which is going to be your job, but done remotely. So I wanted to mention this right away because honestly, a lot of people don't realize that just about any job out there, except for maybe a few like plumber, for instance, can be done remotely. Now there might not be a ton of remote jobs available, but once you have some experience, you're really good. There are a lot of opportunities to move into those remote roles. So don't just assume if you're watching this video, oh, there's no way I can do my job remote. Chances are, if you really think about it, there's at least 50% of your job that can be done remotely. And there's many opportunities out there to do just that 50%. So for instance, there are remote nursing jobs now. There's remote pharmacist jobs. I work from home as a pharmacist myself. So I just wanted to mention this right at the beginning, but with that being said, here's gonna be nine more really good careers. Number nine on the list is going to be a content writer or a copywriter. So this is one that has absolutely skyrocketed in the last few years. Now, a lot of people are probably watching this and they're like, no way you can make money as a writer. There's no full-time jobs available. And if you just try to be a generalist writer, that's exactly true. There's not gonna be that many jobs available. And the ones that are available available are going to go to people in the Philippines, for instance. That's why you must specialize not only in the type of writing that you do, but also your niche. So for instance, one job that has a ton of opportunity right now is YouTube script writing. I talked to a bunch of other YouTubers, and that's probably one of the hardest positions to hire for. And some of these YouTubers are literally making like a million dollars a month, and they still can't find a proper YouTube script writer. So if you're able to learn this skill, and especially if you specialize in a particular niche, this can be incredibly lucrative. Now, content writers make about $54,000 a year. But like I said, if you specialize, you can make much more than that. Now, this is one where you do not need a college degree. You don't need previous experience, but you do need to have the skills and you need to have a good portfolio. And a lot of people, when they start off here, are going to start by freelancing, right? So you're going to freelance for a while, get some gigs, build up your portfolio. And then eventually you can either get your own job or you could just start your own business. So yeah, I really like this one. As long as you niche down, as long as you specialize, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 opportunity score. Another really good one is going to be an HR specialist. Now, this is one that typically does require a college degree. But with that being said, you can go into HR with kind of non-related degrees. For instance, a lot of people who are in HR got psychology degrees. So if you're in a position where you got a useless degree because you didn't watch my videos, you didn't subscribe to the channel, which you should, and you're not very happy with the outcome, this could be a good one for you to look into. And HR specialists make about $57,000 a year. And you can also move into higher level roles like HR manager, and they make even more. So this is a pretty good one. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. All right, so next I'm going to name a health related remote career. And there are tons of these different random niche health related remote careers out there. And just about nobody knows about them. A really good site to look into this is explorehealthcareers.org. They have a list of like hundreds, if not thousands of different health related careers. But one of them is going to be a mental health counselor. And this is just an example. Like I said, there's hundreds hundreds, if not thousands of different random niche careers you can do. And a lot of them surprisingly can be done remotely. And if you don't believe me, go to flexjobs.com, which is a job board that specializes in hiring for remote jobs and look at the types of jobs that are typically posted. And you're going to see there's a lot of health related ones. So health related careers pay pretty well, not as good as tech, not as good as business, but still pretty well. And they're probably the most stable careers available. So mental health counselors make about $58,000 a year. This is one where you do have have to have a college degree and you also have to have some certifications and experience. And many health careers are like that where you do have to have some specialized training and certifications. But in many cases, the company themselves will train you and whether or not you need a degree depends on the career. So overall, I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And I'm just kind of putting this under the umbrella of health related remote jobs in general. Next one is going to be digital marketing. And this is kind of an umbrella term that encompasses a bunch of different careers. So for instance, you could do a career in SEO, which is search engine optimization. You could do pay-per-click. You could work with newsletters, which is basically email marketing. You could do content marketing. You could do affiliate marketing. There's all kinds of different ways that you can make money from digital marketing. And it's one of the most valuable skills you could possibly learn, whether you want to progress within your career. A lot of people who end up becoming executives and CEOs started out in marketing, or if you want to start your own business on the side. So for instance, I interviewed David on the channel who was able to go from jobless to making over $80,000 a year in digital marketing. And he was able to do that by going through my friend Seth's course. So Seth basically has probably
probably created more digital marketers than any other human being on the planet. And he does have a free masterclass, which you can check out down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. And it'll answer all of your questions on digital marketing. It'll explain the different types of digital marketing, like SEO, PPC, et cetera. So definitely check that out. But overall, digital marketing, I'm going to give a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. It's one of my favorites. It's also one that's relatively easy to get into at the entry level. You don't need a college degree or previous experience, but you do have to have the skills and a good portfolio. An entry level digital marketers make about $52,000 a year. The next one on the list is going to be an animator. Now, a lot of people think that with, you know, chat GPT and all this AI stuff coming up, that's going to take away a lot of animators jobs. I disagree. I think it's going to make it easier for animators to make incredible artwork and the day to day tasks that you do as an animator are going to change. But AI, in my opinion, is going to help and animators make about $64,000 a year. Now, this is another one where you don't need a college degree, you don't need previous experience, but you do need to have the skills and a good portfolio. And a lot of the time animators will start off freelancing, get some work in, build up their portfolio, and then they can get a job or just start their own business. So I think this is a really good one, especially if you're artistic. I think that animation is going to absolutely take off in the next 10 to 15 years because of the fact that it's been made so much easier to do by AI. So this one gets an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a brand manager. And this involves developing strategies to build, promote, and maintain a brand's image. So whenever I'm thinking of branding, I love to think of the company Nike, for instance. I mean, that tagline that they have, just do it, is probably one of the best taglines of all time. And whoever came up with that tagline probably made Nike an extra billion dollars. And that is the power of branding. And you can kind of think of branding almost like long-term marketing. You may not see an ROI right away, but over the long run, it's going to increase the amount of money the company makes tremendously. And brand managers make about $96,000 a year. Now, this is one where you are going to need previous experience. Typically, brand managers do have college degrees, although you don't absolutely have to have one. But yeah, this is another really good one. I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is one of my favorite careers, which is business development representative. This is also known as sales development representative, BDR, SDR, or tech sales. And this is typically a position where you are going to be reaching out and working with other businesses. So this is a B2B type role. And B2B basically means businesses that sell to other businesses. And so this is a type of sales that is a lot less, you know, pushy, you know, trying to get the person to decide right away, emotional sales techniques. It's much more of a logical type of selling where you're kind of just building a relationship with different companies over a long period of time and seeing how your product can help their company. And BDRs make $76,000 a year. And this is an entry level role where you do not need a college degree or previous experience. So I really like this one. It's one of my favorite entry level jobs. Very easy to land a job. Sales isn't for everyone, but this is more of a logical cool, you know, relationship building type of sales. And I always say that I think everyone should do at least one sales job during their lifetime because the skills you're going to learn are invaluable. So I'll give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be an SEO manager. So this is SEO, which is search engine optimization. And basically what that means is you're trying to rank on the top of a search engine such as Google. So when someone types into Google best PC computers, for instance, you would want your company to rank close to the top. And this is a multi multi billion dollar industry because the difference between your company ranking at the top of Google in the search engine versus your company ranking on the second or the third page might be the difference between that article making $100 a month and $100,000 a month. So this stuff is incredibly important. And SEO managers make about $82,000 a year. So this is not an entry level job. However, it does not require you to have a college degree, but you really need to know your stuff. You need to have some experience and probably a good portfolio would help as well. So this is an example of one of the careers you can move into when you start off as an entry level digital marketer. And like I said, if you want to learn more about digital marketing, I put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. It's a completely free masterclass. So I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And next, let's talk about content marketing specialists. So you might have noticed that a lot of the top people in just about every industry are starting to create a ton of content. For instance, there's a podcast called the All In Podcast where billionaires are literally making content. Now, do you think they're doing that out of the kindness of their heart? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Do you think they're doing it because it's fun? Yeah, it's probably a decent amount of fun, but there's other things they could be doing that are more fun or they could be doing more things like philanthropy, for instance, that would help more people. The real reason they're making content is because of the fact that it's probably the best ROI for your time. For instance, Alex Hormozzi, a lot of people know him, he gives business advice here here on YouTube, he was making $50 million a year doing what he's really good at, which is marketing and sales. Then he either stopped running or sold.
sold all of his companies and went all in on content marketing on YouTube. Now, why do you think he did that? It's because he noticed he was getting somewhere around a 20 to 30 X better ROI on content marketing than he was on paid ads. And he realized that content marketing is the future. People no longer want to buy from brands that are advertising to them. They want to buy from other people. So this is one of the most valuable skills that you could possibly learn right now. And content marketing specialists, which is an entry level job that you can get without a college degree or previous experience, make around $55,000 a year. And there's a lot of upper level positions where you can easily make it into the six figure level or more. For instance, there are content strategists that make millions of dollars a year. So I absolutely love this one. It's one of my favorites. It's emerging and I think it's only going to get better in the next 10 to 20 years. We are basically entering the era of content marketing. That's right. Gary V was right all along, at least about some things. This one gets a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, YouTube thinks that you should watch this video next. So go ahead and click there.